Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day, <laughs> April 15th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 15th of April, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you were guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We do, in fact, have happy hour tonight, yes? So if you guys would like to get in on the action, the information can be found in the description box below. Um, so if you want, uh, the floor is officially open. Um, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live here on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, happy hour is a moment for those of you that are unfamiliar. Happy hour is a moment where I go live and I do single question readings for a discounted price. So uh, single question readings are $25 um, and they are performed right there live for you here on YouTube. It's a really fun thing. If you've never done it, if you don't know what it is and you're curious, come check it out. We have a, we have a hell of a lot of fun. I'm gonna be honest. Last week was super fun. Um, and so I'm excited for this week. So if you wanna get in on the list, uh, get in on the action, the floor is officially open. Um, details to send payment are in the description box below paypal.me slash divine conversations that's paypal.me slash divine conversations yes don't go to paypal.com slash divine conversations that's not going to work paypal.me slash divine conversations send 25 dollars and make sure to put the questions, your question, in the notes section of that payment so that I have all, I have your question ready that, ready to go right then and there and we don't have to waste time trying to, you know, figure out what your question is. Um, and this time, I promise I'm going to make sure that the questions are there. Last time there was, I don't know what happened last time, but like I couldn't see the questions from my phone, from the PayPal app on my phone, which is weird because I, I remember being able to do that before, but I don't know, maybe I m remember incorrectly, but um, yeah, that's that's it. I believe that's it. Um, cusp readings are gonna be put on hold today because of happy hour. So I'm gonna be, if, you, if you're interested in any of the cusp readings, I have done, I've gotten through Libra Scorpio cusp. Yeah, and so next would be Scorpio Sag, but I'm actually gonna hold off on that to finish that up tomorrow i have four left scorpio sag sag cap cap ap, uh, ap, uh, uh, aquarius <laughs> cap aquarius and then aquarius pisces i'm going to finish all those tomorrow but if you haven't had a chance to if you're interested in it uh, if you haven't checked them out yet if you're interested in checking them out go ahead and do that that is on my channel i'm going to try and figure out a way to organize those better because i feel like it's just a big old mess of, of of different things right now but i'll figure that out um there was one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, for those of you that are interested or intrigued, um, a top a, a, a point to think about. When I started doing this round of cusp readings, part of me was like, I feel like I want to do a mid monthly reading. And now that I think about it in hindsight, these readings actually, these cusp readings could potentially serve as a mid monthly for you. So if you're interested, if you're intrigued at all, go ahead and check them out and see. Um, and if it resonates that way, then if it resonates, it then take it. You know what I mean? And and you know some people are like, well, I mean, I don't exactly, I don't know if I'm exactly on the cusp, but this resonates, honey. If it resonates, take it. Even if it's like you're watching some random reading, like say, I don't know, you watch one of my readings and here on YouTube, and then you put, <clears throat> you have autoplay on, and it plays the next the next reading that plays is not one of the major signs, like a major sign for you is not something you normally watch, but it resonates then girl, take the message. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not even that serious word. So just do it. It's great. It's lit, y'all. Sorry, couldn't help it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's just get into this now. Doop, 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 doop. I'm a little, I'm a little goofy today. Not exactly sure why. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. However, I just want to let you know, I just want to like prepare you, okay? You have been warned. I am feeling loopy, 
and and funny today. So enjoy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. You know, guys, it's interesting. I'm back to seeing yellow and green for the Morning Coffee Collective. And that is something that I was seeing months ago. It's actually something that stopped happening when I, when I made that temporary switch over to Oracle cards, like a, an Oracle base reading. So I'm just taking that as right now, I'm just taking that as I'm connected or like we're connected to the collective again, which is cool, which is great. I love it. I really love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. Let me do this. Three shuffles here. For the collective, the morning coffee collective. Yes, for your Wednesday, your hump day. Yes. All right. All right. One, one last shuffle. I really, these cards, this deck has really grown on me. Um, and it's mainly, I love these silver edges. Like, this is so dope. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's, let's get into this. What's going on with the Morning Coffee Collective today, please, Spirit? What message do you have for us? What do you want to discuss with us today? Okay. Wait for it. Now we're not going to force it. We're not going to rush it. It's going to happen when it happens. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. Wednesday. You know what? I'm going to close my eyes. Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. What messages do you have for us today, please, Spirit? Okay. Well, we have the Two of Cups and Temperance, or in this case, this is Balance here. Um, all right. Let's get a little bit more before I start channeling here. But What's going on here, Spirit? What are you, what's going on? What's going on? Three of Cups. Interesting. I feel... Three of... So oh, 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 damn. Oh, shit. Okay, look. I'm going to get more, but... I feel like this is a victory. I feel like there's a relationship here. I'm sorry, hold on. Before before I go any further. Yeah, no, wait, no, wait, look. Here's the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'm going to stop here. Uh, this is going to sound unorthodox, okay? We do have the three of cups here. And... When I was like, okay, well, that doesn't, because many of you know, especially in terms of love, Three of Cups can represent a third-party situation. So a situation where, like, you know, someone's cheating or something like that. And then I was like, okay, but it doesn't have to be that. And I kind of was feeling like this was, this is a... Uh, a celebration, this Three of Cups. News worth celebrating announcements such as weddings, graduations, births, or friends you cherish, spending time with friends. Okay, but then the Three of Swords came out, the Three of Winter, and I was like, oh no, say it ain't so, but it's not. There's a victory here. I feel like there is something, there's a relationship, or there, there, there how do I put this? You guys, there's, mm, sorry, I'm tongue-tied. Um, you've overcome something. And maybe, maybe it does involve a third party situation because you have the moon here, but maybe it was illusionary. Maybe someone thought there was a third party. Someone thought they were being cheated on or something, but it was a lie or it wasn't, it wasn't exactly what you thought it was with the moon. And then you have, and then there's the victory, the overall energy. 
the overall energy is the six of wands, or at least in, in this deck, this is the six of spring. So there's definitely, there's definitely an energy of overcoming something. And, and to be quite honest, this might be a major thing for you guys, whatever this is. There's a greater sense of balance here that's happening. Now, this could be a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to, ooh. Okay, well, no, Spirit is saying that this is, this, this is a romantic, this is mainly, this is mainly a romantic relationship. And I feel like the dynamic in this relationship was that someone was just super, super, super over suspicious. Um, and it's not like in that, in this situation, it, it's not necessarily that, you know, your, your partner was do was acting in ways to make you suspicious. I feel like that, that extreme or that strong sense of suspicion is something that has been developed over time, over the course of your life and over the course of the relationships that you've had. And this actually, this last, I'm getting tingling now. My, oof, I'm getting the chills. Like the left side of my head is tingling. So, okay, I must be, I must be hitting the nail on the head or something. But this last round of whatever this is, of like deceit, deception, lies, betrayal, or at least feeling like you've been betrayed in some way, it has this last round of it has helped you overcome this and so now there's a greater sense of balance harmony union potentially within you okay this is the temperance card in this deck it's balance and temperance is about alchemy temperance is also about patience um and you actually could have learned a very strong lesson in patience and not being suspicious i'm getting this energy of overly suspicious now, with this card, it's it's interesting because in this deck, this card says take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There is no need to rush, aka patience. But this might have been a situation in which this person, and I feel like, I re I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really feel like it's the feminine here or it's the feminine energy or the, the more femininely dominant individual in this relationship, okay? Um this person was just very suspicious not to say they didn't have reason to be not to say that they didn't experience things in the past that drove them into this sense of suspicion but also that could that that sense of suspicion i'm feeling i'm, I'm hearing could very well be an effect or, or an um uh evidence of a narcissism yikes okay well well hold on let's not like jump down this per like jump at this person's neck you know I, I feel like there's reason there's very good reason for for this and actually for some of you it could or for some a certain person here or something it could very could very well be a product of your childhood i just feel like now maybe maybe this isn't a romantic relationship you do have the two of cups maybe this is a friendship Maybe this is family. Something where love could could very well be involved, but love doesn't necessarily have to be romance, right? You could have love between friends. You could have love between family members, you know. But whatever this is, I really feel like you've overcome a great deal. Something that really could have completely derailed the relationship like you might be looking back at this now in hindsight and saying wow if we didn't get this under control then i would have lost this person and that would have been absolutely devastating okay i mean that's a good thing that's a good perspective to 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 roll around in for a hot minute but at the same time recognize you need to recognize that actually everything happens for a reason so you were meant to go through this with this person at this exact time this is such a huge victory such a huge victory for someone and it it's it, yeah sure it's a victory between the two of you but it's also a personal victory because i do feel like you are free now with this the moon can also represent the closing of a cycle okay or or the the moon can represent cycles okay it's representative of cycles because you know the moon goes through its own cycle right um so this could have been a big 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 cycle mm. 
Okay, so I'm going to start clarifying now. I want to start with the Three of Swords, or at least the Three of Winter. This, this says, reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal in time. Uh, again, though, I feel like this is sadness that um, has been festering, or this is a sense of heartbreak or pain or betrayal even that has been... I keep hearing overarching, so it's like a, it's been a big thing for you for a long time. It's like you've been carrying, you might feel like you've been carrying the weight of the world, or this is just has been a really heavy burden on you for a long time. Let's let's start clarifying though. I want to clarify this three of winter, or in other decks, this is considered the three of swords. And the Three of Swords is all about heartbreak, backstabbing, betrayal, um, feeling slighted, maybe even being cheated on. Now, here's the other thing. This Two of Cups could also represent the balance between masculine and feminine energy within you. You know, your own sense of inner union, your own sense of inner partnership. And, <laughs> okay, so you remember how I was saying um, it feels like it's the, the feminine figure or the feminine energy in this dynamic, in this relationship, that's the most that's the most suspicious? Well, if you really look at it, that could very well be the feminine energy, your inner sense of feminine, your inner feminine being all like suspicious. And But now she's healed. She's She's been able to, to gain some sort of sense of healing through this. That's really cool. It's really cool. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy within. Okay, so when I'm talking gen when I'm talk I'm I'm not talking about gender here. So when I say the feminine, more femininely dominant individual in the relationship or in the dynamic, this is someone that resonates more or stronger with feminine energy than masculine energy, even though we have both within, okay? And you that has nothing to do with gender. All right. All right. So what is this Three of Swords? Let's find out. What is the Three of Swords here, please, Spirit? Three of Winter. Ooh, okay. Don't want to talk, huh? Let's try this again. Three of Winter. What is the Three of... Okay. Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. keep going oh boy <laughs> oh shit man Ooh, okay oh wow <laughs> look at this this is basically like the whole reading over again we have the three of swords we have the three of cups again we have temperance okay so this is the this is the official real temperance card all right um, and you, so you see how the angel is balancing these two, these two cups, combining what's in these two cups. Temperance is about alchemy. Um, temperance is also about change, um, but patience within that change. Because like, if you're, if you're alchemizing something, if you're doing alchemy here, you cannot rush that, right? You add too much heat to the, the you know to the to the system and you could fry everything right you gotta it's gotta take its time it's gonna go through its process i do feel and it's funny because i, I kind of felt like my um <laughs> thank you robert i i just got an email <laughs> um so um sorry i do <laughs> i i kind of feel like i was being um proven wrong because I, I i don't i don't really i don't necessarily like to assume or go down the rabbit hole of someone's being cheated on there's a third party situation blah 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 whatnot whatever but then the three of cups came out again with the nine of cups okay now that can that absolutely can represent um indulging uh, it, 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 indulging in sex, drugs, rock and roll, that kind of energy, or just like, you know, partying a little too hard, partying a little too much. However, 
again, there is a sense of overcoming heartbreak. There's a sense of overcoming some sort of fear or something like that. And that's where we have the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so... Um, and again, this could be... This could be... With, especially with the Knight of Wands, because the Knight of Wands is a wishy-washy energy. Here, one second, gone the next. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, hit it and quit it. That kind of energy, right? But it's in reverse. Um, and, and so, to me, that's saying that this is not what's going on here. It's an illusion. It's not true. And then you have strength. And strength is upright. So, so now, what this is kind of turning into, again, is a celebratory energy. Because you're overcoming something, you're overcoming some sort of fear, you're overcoming some sort of heartbreak, something like that. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Um, so this is good. This is very good. It may not have been what you thought. I'm looking at this Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups here, and I just, I feel this sense of innocence. Someone might have been suspicious that they were rolling around, rolling with people that were doing them dirty, trying to betray them. But I, that's it. I, especially with the moon here in the original spread, I don't think it's what you thought it was. It is not what it seems. Or it was not what it seemed. Okay? And then you have temperance here, which is bringing you a greater sense of alchemy and balance and understand, understanding and clarity. It's like you're fortified within. You are, this is hard to put in words, but it's you. And then strength here, coupling with that is like um, you have, you, you're stronger within. You know, you're not as susceptible. You're not as, I guess you could say weak. That's what I just heard. Um, you're not as weak within, you know, you're not as swayable, you're not as convincible, you're not as easily swayed or easily manipulated into thinking that someone is cheating on you. Or someone is trying to, 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 to betray you or someone's trying to do you dirty, you know what I mean? Let's look at the moon then. Hold on, let me, let me, uh, you know... The glare from this light is really a pain in my rusty dusty. Okay, that works. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, let's look at the moon then. So why are, what? What was the illusion here? What's the moon, please? Spirit? Death. Whoa. What's the, four of wands. in reverse oh temperance in reverse okay 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 i get it i get it with the empress at the bottom of the deck okay so there's a there's a strong level of forgiveness with this empress energy the empress is abundance the empress is the queen of all queens so she's the combination of the queen of swords cups pentacles and wands um she's unconditionally loving she's nurturing she's like the divine mother she she can be seen as mother earth or gaia um she's she's so incredibly unconditionally loving like it doesn't matter who you are what you've done where you've been what your preferences are it's like anything 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 she will do anything for those she cares for okay and so i'm getting now, now she can be seen as an enabler because of that. Um, she's the counterpart to the emperor, right? The emperor is the masculine, the divine masculine. The empress is the divine feminine. The emperor is like the disciplinarian. The empress is like the nurturing, coddling mother, which is, and there's nothing wrong with any of this, okay? I'm just saying, there's a, these, I, I wanted to highlight the, 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 the differences between the masculine and the feminine, the, the emperor, the empress, right? So it's through this and this sense of uh, unconditionally loving and extreme forgiveness that there, there is just this level of like an abundance of forgiveness coming through uh, with this empress energy and this does feel kind of universal okay there there's you're being showered in unconditional love here but this phase has definitely come to an end you have the moon right so this is what we're we're clarifying we have death Death is clarifying the moon or this phase, this illusionary energy, this 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 cycle of toxic ooh, 
toxic energy or narcissism in which someone just thinks just always expects the worst but here is why and i was picking up on this earlier you have the four of wands in reverse the four of wands is your home is a family is a foundation is stability and what i'm getting is for whomever this is resonating for the most you had an experience i want to say most likely as a child um involving your parents maybe your father or your mother was unfaithful and it kind of tore your family apart and it left you scarred it left you with a complex it left you expecting everything to turn out like that or like kind of looking over you constantly looking over your shoulder like oh is this person going to cheat on me is this person going to i mean it's it's normal it happens it, it happens to everybody right i mean it's just what people do no it's not what people do and and you may have you may have really believed that oh, well it's just this is just normal no 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 that's not a norm that you want to have in your life right that is an that is an icky foundation that is not a stable good foundation four of wands in reverse four of wands in reverse temperance in reverse believing that certain behaviors such as that are okay no they're not okay but but Believe it, well, believing that they're okay and coming to expect it. No. No. Death to Smoochie. Like, none of that. We're, we're putting that to rest. No, we're not, com we're, not, we're not allowing ourselves to expect to be used, abused, cheated on, uh, you know, two-timed, whatever you want to call it. Right? Mm-hmm. I think, okay, let's look at the Three of Cups since it came out twice. Let's look at the Three of Cups here. Where's the Three of Cups, please, Spirit? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, okay, so I just heard the suspicion was real, y'all. You have the Six of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Wands, you have that with the Nine of Wands, mm -hmm, and the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is about balance. Um, the Nine of Wands is about perseverance. This Nine of Wands is like the, the wounded warrior energy, keeping up appearance, or um, just pressing on. I When I first started reading, um, when I first started my channel, I called this my Just Keep Swimming card. You know, like, like uh, Dory from... Um, Finding Nemo, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, right? Just keep going. We're not stopping. We're, we're, I know we're tired, we're worn out, we're burnt out, but you know what? We are not stopping. Okay. The Nine of Wands is also defensiveness, overly defensive or unnecessarily defensive. Now, it's it, it may not seem unnecessarily defensive because obviously this person's looking over their shoulder like something, they're expecting something. So it, this person has been through some shit, okay? But in terms of the specific or circumstance in question, the defensiveness may really be unnecessary, uncalled for, right? Not in alignment with what the truth of the situation is. Oh. See, and as I as I dropped it, it fell in reverse. All right, um, but I feel like it falling in reverse now is kind of symbolic of this being let go of, this being this this sense of defensiveness being overcome. Okay, you have the six of pentacles with the eight of wands. This three of cups situation was not what you thought. It was more about friendship. Um, reciprocity. I feel there's a strong sense of generosity here. Maybe even communication. I mean, communication in terms of like, you know, just talking to each other, bouncing ideas off of each other, maybe some sort of mentorship. I feel like someone was just being generous, was just being friendly, was just being nice. And from a genuine place too. I mean, it's, it's not like, it's, it's not what you think, or at least it wasn't what you thought. And you've overcome that. You're seeing it differently. I mean, there's, look, look, Two of Pentacles. This is another card of balance. You could kind of see this as a minor arcana version of temperance because temperance is about balance. <clears throat> okay. So with that said, let's look at the Two of Cups here. What is this Two of Cups? Or what do we want to say about the Two of Cups? Woo! Oh. 
Page of Cups. Yep. Apologies. So I feel like someone was overly... Ooh, oh, the tower. Okay, is that the bottom of the deck? This is a good thing, though, because I feel like this tower energy, whatever is being destroyed, this big sudden change... This is going to help the relationship. Because what I see here is the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is the dreamer energy, but the Page of Cups is also a reconciliatory energy. I'm sorry, right? Can we start over? And with the Knight of Pentacles, this is rebuilding, slowly but surely moving forward. Now, you do have the Queen of Swords, but you also have that with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This was a false harvest. Something about this was false. And this Seven of Pentacles could very well be you releasing or removing the weeds that were growing that caused you to be suspicious to begin with. Right? That whole plant, that whole harvest, that, every, that, that, that part of you that was, that was planted and grew into this, I want to call it a monstrosity, really. Because ultimately, it was suffocating you. Ivy, vines, weeds, something, right? And the Queen of Swords says, enough of that. Cut the shit. We're done here. We're not doing this any longer. And not, that's not to say you're breaking up. That's not what I'm picking up here. I feel like this is the repair of a relationship. And the tower energy, what is, what's coming down here in the tower is a belief system, is a point of view. Yeah, look, Five of Swords is underneath that. So Five of Swords is, is sabotage self-sabotage, lose-lose situation. Oh, with the Empress underneath that. That's beautiful. This is really great, you guys. And again, this really feels more like a personal victory than anything else. And if it does involve a relationship, I do relate, I do feel like the relationship is going to be on the mend. You guys may get back together. There's a lot of healing that's going to happen. But also, there is definitely a personal victory here because now moving forward, and, and, and okay, look, this is a general reading, and I don't even really know how many people are going to resonate with this on my channel because this is so, this is like a brand new storyline, okay? But this is a general reading. So maybe... Maybe the relationship is over. Maybe the, maybe you guys did break up. Maybe this was a karmic situation. I'm hearing a karmic marriage. But ultimately, you still have this personal victory because this, the chains, I just heard the chains have been broken. Whatever has been holding you back or keeping you in this suspicious energy, it seems to have been completed. It seems to be done. You're cutting it out. You're moving on from it. Death. Transformation. Okay. Okay, guys, I can dig it. We're going to get your Oracle guidance today. Uh, but from the Lightworker Oracle. All right. Closing message, please, Spirit. One last shuffle. Closing message, Oracle guidance. Ah, let's get it. Closing message, please, Spirit. Card number 42, fifth ray of intellectual knowledge. Okay. The fifth ray of intellectual knowledge has come to you as a spiritual gift. You are being given the ability to find information you need 
Understand systems that impact your life and find clarity in any issue that has screamed or that has seemed <laughs> unclear or overwhelming. You shall sort the truth from the lies and learn what you need to know. The Archangel Raphael now assists you in integrating the blessings of the fifth ray. I want to read more of this. You are distilling a new truth. It might be the truth of discernment, <clears throat> where you realize the appearance of a person, group, or cause is misleadingly different to the inner reality. Discernment is incredibly important on the spiritual path, all the more so as you open up to work with energies, with teachers and teachings, and sort out and to sort out all issues in your life according to your spiritual principles. Discernment is not judgment, but it does allow you to make informed decisions based on frequency. When you choose to associate with people who are on a higher frequency, everyone benefits. If you choose to associate with people on a lower frequency than your own, you may feel your life moving more slowly, becoming harder than it needs to be. Discernment helps you navigate through illusions and find the real gems. It helps you step back from those who say they want to support you, but who actually just want to take and not give in return. The fifth ray helps you choose wisely and sever unhealthy connections. This ray also comes to you when there is more to something than meets the eye. You will be given the power to discover and understand the truth. Wait until the truth clicks inside you. Until then, keep looking deeper until you unravel the mystery. The fifth ray will help you do so successfully. The challenge with the fifth ray is to remi remain open-minded as you find your clarity. Be willing to find more information if you need it. The right answers will come. Be willing to change your viewpoint in order to perceive the truth of the matter. If a system is working for you, that's great. If it needs to be changed, don't be afraid to get into the chaos of creativity and try different ways until you discover what will work better for you now. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, again, happy hour is on and popping tonight. All of the information is in the description box below if you would like to get in on the action. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And if I don't see you tonight, I look forward to, uh, to our next reading or our next cup of coffee. There it is. I look forward to our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Bye.